Hello everyone, welcome back to Gitroy Tips and in this video I'm going to demonstrate to you how to fix the stalker to the heart of Chernobyl. The game has released right now as you can see and if I go over here in the store page as you can see the game is having very positive review right now and many users are trying to play the game but actually mine is getting downloaded but even though I'm going to demonstrate to you how we can fix this particular issue. So if you're going through any kind of crashing issue not launching, won't launch, freezing, stuttering and lagging and if you're having any kind of a PS drop and including the black screen just follow the instructions in the video. The first one is all about what you need to do is so if you're having this trouble what we need to do is we just need to go over here in the start and click on this particular icon go over here and you have to do a restart sometimes you know a simple restart can fix a lot of trouble then that's what you have to do so just start with a simple restart so after the restart is done if you're still having the trouble just follow the instructions what i'm going to demonstrate here so the next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to go over here that is all about we have to launch the game not from the steam but we have to launch the game from the installation folder and right now as you can see the game is over here in the steam so you know if you're trying to launch the game from the steam you might be having the issue so what we need to do is we just need to navigate to the installation folder so we have to do in a two way that is one is all about you have to go over here i'm demonstrating you with an example just go over here in the file explorer just go to this pc and over here that is local deceit click on this one and go to the program file x86 and we have to navigate the game steam and go to the steam apps and you can go to the common and from here we'll be able to find the folder for the stalker the chernobyl you'll be able to find this particular folder for the game stalker heart of chernobyl and if you find the folder over here for this one just uh, open the game and you can try run the game on the .exe. So for the convenience, I'm going to demonstrate you with an example. So I'm going to show you because uh, the, for me, the game is getting downloaded over here. As you can see, it's going to take a little bit of time. So I'm going to demonstrate you with an example. So what you need to do is just follow this path over here that this PC, local to C, program file x86, Steam, Steam apps, and we have to go to the common. Now from here, just scroll down and I'll be showing you an example with, uh, for example, I'm going to demonstrate you with a limitless. Imagine this particular folder is for the Chernobyl, that is Stalker Chernobyl. So open the particular folder and you'll be having a .exe, just open the game from there. So once after that, most probably the issue will be completely fixed. And apart from this, if you are in the installation folder, I'll be showing you one more step. That is a very important step that is all about we have to run the game as a .exe as an administrator and we have to run the game in the compatibility mode. So hence we are in the installation folder I am going to demonstrate you. So just imagine this is just an example. So just go to the location of the game and once you find the application over here right click and go to the show more options and go to the properties. Go to the compatibility. Make sure that first you have to click on run this program as administrator and go for apply and go for ok. And still if you are having the trouble go over here go to the show more options and go to the properties go to the compatibility and click on to run this program in the commentary mode and you can see if you have to first set this to windows 7 and go for apply or windows 7 is not working go for and set this to windows 8 and go for apply and go for ok and most probably after we'll just close this and we have to go back so don't get confused i'm demonstrating you with an example so let's move to the next step after trying with this if the issue is still there what is all about we have to click on the play button you will be having the play button once the download is done just click on the play button and you have to press alt and tab from the keyboard i don't know how this is related but this even worked for many users in my knowledge so just click on the alt and uh, tab together so that's going to work for you in most cases next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to uh, delete the saved game file so what we need to do is we just need to go over here to the file explorer and we have to navigate to the documents and over here as you can see there will be a lot of folders for the game and we'll be having a folder for the stalker also so when you start playing the game you'll be having a folder or you have to get into the my games so you'll be able to find the folder over here as well so if you find the folder over here for the stalker so what we need to do is just delete, delete the respective folder and keep in mind when you do this you'll be losing all the progressions of the game but that is fine you have to just delete it and once afterwards just close this and we have to go back and try launching the game next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to move to the next one that is all about we have to allow the game to windows security so just go over here and go to the settings over here you have to navigate to the settings and from here what we need to do is we just need to go over here not the settings but we need to just go over here and search for the control panel we have to search for the control panel click on this one and navigate to system and security go for windows defender firewall go for allow and airport feature through windows defender firewall and keep scrolling down and you have to navigate to the game stalker so right now like i said the mind game is getting downloaded so i'm going to demonstrate it you'll be able to find the game over here 
So if you find the game, make sure both the private and public both are marked or put a check on both the boxes. That is a very important step. So once you're done with this one, we have to move to the next step. That is all about you have to make sure that you have completely put a check on both the private and public both has to be checked. And afterwards, we have to move to the next step. Next step is all about what we need to do is we just need to unplug all the USB devices. So right now, in my case, I'm not using any kind of controllers, but most of the users might be using all these kind of controllers. You know, they're going to play a lot of games like Forza Horizon 5. They're going to play the games like many other games they might be playing. And all these games are actually, you know, they might be connected with the controllers and you're going to go, go through a lot of trouble. So what we need to do is we just need to unplug all these things. Just unplug everything. Every unplug, you have to unplug all the USB devices. And once everything is unplugged, what we need to do is you just need to go back to the game and try launch the game. Afterwards, you have to connect it back and try continue playing the game. And that's going to help you guys go as well. Moving to the next one is all about we have to perform a clean boot that's a very important step so in order to perform a clean boot what we need to do is we just need to go over here and search for system configuration we just need to search for the system configuration and we need to click on this one and right now as you can see we have to go to the services and go for disable all go for hide all microsoft services go for apply and go for okay they're going to ask you for restart so the users who are watching this we have to go for exit without uh, go for the restart but i'm in the middle of shooting so i'm going to go for exit without restart and and once the restart is done, we just need to try launch the game and you have to try. Going to the next one is all about what we need to do is we just to disable the Steam overlay. So I'm going to demonstrate you with an example. Just go over here in the Microsoft over here in the flight simulator because just it is an example. As you can see, the game is getting downloaded. So just click on the stalker game, go to the properties. Make sure, as you can see, enable the Steam overlay while in game. If it is turn it on, we have to turn this off. It is a very important step. It's most probably by default. This will be turn it on. So make sure that you have to turn this off and try launching the game. Afterwards, still, if you're having the trouble, you might be given the commands in the launch option. So the first command, what we need to do is we just need to give the command for DX11 is what we need to give. If DX11 is not working, you have to give the command DX12 and DX12 is not working. Try giving the command D3, D2 and that's what you have to do. You can try with DX11 or you can try with DX12 or you can try with D3, D2 and this is what we have to try. So after trying with this one, still, if you're having the trouble, just close this and we have to move to the next step. That is all about what we need to do is we just need to run the game on dedicated graphics card so just go over here in the search for graphics settings so here you have to search for the graphics settings and we'll begin in this one and what we need to do is just make sure as you can see i have already added many games and this is what we have to do so we need to add the game so just click on add desktop app and you have to move it uh, you have to move to the installation folder the first one is this pc go to the local disc c go to the program file x86 navigate to steam and go to steam apps and we have to go to the common now if here what we need to do is we just need to go over here and that you have to find the game so i'm going to demonstrate you with an example that is let me go over here demonstrate you with limitless so go over here and scroll down and you will be finding a folder for this stalker when you have the folder for the stalker and just add the respective one so over here i have already added the game that is the flight simulator is added so just go to the game after the stalker is getting added you can see the stalker over here if you scroll down you'll be able to find the stalker so if you find the stalker over here what we need to do is afterwards if you find the stalker just go over here and you have to go to the game and click on this particular arrow and there is an option called gpu preferences as you can see there are three options First one is let Windows aside power saving and high performance. So try setting this to the high performance. And once this has been set into the high performance and just close this and go back and try launching the game. Most probably that's going to help you guys out. Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to close all the overlay application. So what we need to do is we just need to go over here and click on this one and go to the task manager. And right now what we need to do is as you can see there are a lot of things running in the background. All these things are actually utilizing the performance and that's why we are ending up in the crashing issue. So what we need to do is just remove the unwanted things. For example, all the reward tuner, MSA afterburner, overclocking and overlaying applications should be removed from here. Once everything is removed, we just need to close this and we have to go back and try launching the game. Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to increase the virtual memory. So this is an important step what we need to do. So in order to increase the virtual memory, just go over here, search for the view advanced system settings like this. 
you have to click on this particular one so that's going to click on the advanced go to the settings go to the advanced once again and go for change make sure this is blank and you have to select the local list where the game is installed and in my case it is local list c but this will not be the scenario for everyone if you're having any other local list just select the respective local list and go to the custom size so we have the value for initial size that is 1.5 times total ram and the maximum size three times total ram so we need to find the calculator so just go over here and navigate to the calculator so first we need to type the ram so here over here in my case my the RAM of my computer is 32 GB so I have to type 32 and I have to multiply it with a constant value that is 1024 that brings you this particular value and multiply it with 1.5 that brings you 49152 and just copy this particular value and we have to paste it and moving to the maximum size what we need to do is this, just type your RAM 32 GB multiply it with 1024 and multiply it with 3 that's going to give you this particular value and copy this and we have to paste it and we have to paste it as well give these values and afterwards just do a restart and try launch the game most probably the stalker to the heart of Chernobyl is going to work in most cases still if you are having the trouble what we need to do is just make sure that the windows is up to date in most cases windows will not be up to date so that is why we are ending up in the having the issue so just go over here and go to the uh, settings over here and we have to go to the windows update and make sure the windows is up to date if your windows is going through any kind of outdated versions or they're not up to date just make sure the windows is up to date because for these kind of games the windows should be up to date that's a very important one so afterward just close this and we have to try launching the game still after trying with this if the issue is not there or if the issue is not fixed we have to update the graphics card manually and also we have to try a few more steps. So updating the graphics card is an important step so I'll be providing a link in the description that's going to take you to the NVIDIA if you're on the NVIDIA or you can navigate to the AMD. So most of users might be on the NVIDIA so what I'm going to do demonstrate to you is just go over here as you can see you have to select the product type. So we have many options like GeForce, Titan, NVIDIA, RTX, Quattro, Radio Center, Tesla etc. So I'm going to go for GeForce and that's what you have to do. And afterwards, you have to go over here and if you have to select, if you're on the GeForce RTX series, you have to select this one. And in my case, it is GeForce uh, RTX 14 series. And I have to do this. And on software goods, as you can see, 40N90. And you have to find, if you're on the Windows 11, select Windows 11. And if you're on the Windows 10, you can select Windows 11. So select all the precautions, what we need to do. Everything should be selected and go for find. And right now, as you can see, once you go for the find, as you can see, you'll be able to get the options over here. That once it has been done over here, as you can see, uh, over, over here as you can see it has been done and once afterwards you have to download this one so if the system is based on 566.14 you have to download this one and if you're on the older versions you can try but in most cases I'm recommending you can try download this version so over here and download and install and afterwards you have to do a restart and try launch the game and also you can parallel try updating the Microsoft Visual C++ over here as you can see just go there and as you can see if the system is based on x64 download this one if the system is based on x86 you can download this one and install restart as a mandatory and try launch the game so after trying with this most probably the issue might be fixed in my knowledge but if it's still it's not working don't get panicked we have two very important step and one among them is we have to verify integrity of game file so the verify integrity of game file is what it's going to do is it's going to check every single files of a game and if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing and all these kind of issues will be fixed by this so just go over here and go to the properties so right now it won't work because as you can see the files are not yet received because it's getting downloaded so what i'm going to do is i'm going to give you an example with over here if you go to the microsoft flight simulator just go to the respective game not microsoft but you have to go to the stalker game right click and go to the properties just click on the installer file and just click on this one so hence the game the stalker is around 115 gb that's going to take a lot of time but over here as you can see the game is getting downloaded so i'm not going to demonstrate you that i'm just going to skip this up and most probably that's going to help you guys out so last and the least step is all about we have to uninstall and reinstall the game for uninstalling the game you have to go over here and make sure that you uninstall from local disk and you try a new local disk or you uninstall from any local disk and try installing to another one not on the you should not be uninstalling and reinstalling on the same local disk you have to try a new local disk and also for uninstalling just go over here go to the manage option there is an option to uninstall where you can uninstall and these are the possible workaround that can be done and how you can fix this app i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more of these kind of videos and most probably we're going to update a lot of videos over here in our youtube channel so don't forget it so you can watch it over here as well so this is shahim signing off from, uh, from the uh, get Tips and see you soon in the next video peace out bye bye